Ice is an extremely important part of a great cocktail. And bad ice makes a bad cocktail. Welcome to the Cocktail Spirit from Small Screen Network. I'm your host, Robert Hess. Now we're doing a set of episodes here where we're talking about common mistakes that I see people make when they're creating cocktails, whether they're professional bartenders or home mixologists. Now, a lot of talk is done about ice and the importance of ice. So I want to focus on what it means to have good ice versus bad ice. Now, when you go to the supermarket and you buy a bag of ice, you're typically going to get stuff that looks like this, which I would call bad ice. It might be cold, but it's small, it's chips, it really wets the cocktail down too much. That's one aspect of bad ice. Another aspect of bad ice is how you're using the ice in the drink. Now, for me, a drink that I think really shows off really well is the Mai Tai, because I see a lot of bartenders making a Mai Tai in a way that they, they might start with good ice, but they end up with bad ice. Let me show you what I mean. Let's make a Mai Tai. Uh, a Mai Tai is a very classic drink in the tiki style. It incorporates a lot of the stuff that great tiki cocktails do. It's got rum, it's got orange, it's got some flavorings, and it's got ice. Let's start off with two ounces of rum. Now I know in the past I've talked about um, using an ounce of light rum and an ounce of dark rum. Um, I've chosen a rum here that is kind of a mixture between the two that works really well because sometimes it can be hard to find the right light rum and the right dark rum for it. The whole idea is to take and get some rums that add some, some flavor oomph to the product. You want something that really tastes good. If you go back to the original rums that Trader Vic's used in making this drink, those rums had some really intense flavors to them that really brought something to market. So you want a rum that really has some flavor to it. And the last thing you want to do is then dilute that flavor with bad ice. And to the rum, we're going to add three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice. And so we got the rum and the sour. To that, we're going to add the sweeteners which are orange curacao, half ounce of that, and uh, almond syrup or orgeat, half ounce of that. Now here's where the ice comes in. So if I was gonna shake this drink with ice that already was in small little chunks like this, you can imagine that ice is just going to break apart really quickly and melt really quickly because it's already wet in my hands like that. So you want to use a better ice. What I'm going to be using is some ice like this. So this is ice from those silicone molds you see quite often in the kitchen stores. You're at home, you're making your ice, these work really well. They're basically the size that really good ice and really good bars are, so home bartenders really can have great ice in their cocktails. So by using these ice, they're gonna mix a lot better, they're not gonna melt so quickly, and they're gonna make the drink that much colder. And now comes another problem I see people doing with ice, and that is they just take this thing like this and pour it straight into the glass, which means I'm using the ice that I started with. So it's ice that's already been battered up. There's probably some chunks in it, and that's probably not the best thing to do. Instead, we want to start with fresh ice. And we're simply going to strain on top of that. And there we have a great Mai Tai made with fresh, quality ice at every step along the way. And there's no reason why you can't do that either behind your bar or at home.